welcome to Mickey Art. My name's Michelle Edhouse and today I have had a glorious day. I have met two wonderful people, um, Gail and Debbie. Gail is a local Rotorurian who um, came in and introduced herself to me when I was working at the Rotorua Arts Village and Debbie is over from the States, um, traveling with her family, and they, um, <laughs> she'd messaged me this morning, and I hadn't seen the message, and to say that they were coming to Rotorua, and could she come and see my studio, and I hadn't seen the message, and I was walking out of AJ's, which is where I buy my paint, and this woman goes, oh, it's Mickey Edhouse, and I was like, yes, it is, <laughs> so, it was so super cool um, to meet two of you in person. It's just so awesome. I, I adore meeting you and saying hi. And um, Debbie came out and had a look around the, the gallery. And, well, the gallery. I call it a gallery. <laughs> my bomb site that is my studio. And <laughs> it was so cool to meet her. And it was so cool to meet Gail. And um, I just so super grateful to all of you that that watch my videos and say hi and comment and subscribe and stuff like it just tickles so much fun i'm so grateful anyway what are we doing today you just saw me put some tape on the underside of this eight by ten and i'm gonna do a bit of a spin i'm gonna try and reenact that spider web thing that we did that Aiden and I did. Probably not quite so much hilarity, but maybe. Uh, but it's just me, so I'm doing it. Anyway, I am going to do a little bit more of a colourful background and try that... Um, try that way that I did the... that I suggested at the end there about... Ooh, green's a bit gluggy. I'm not sure why. It is actually runny, just glugs. Um, instead of using the bottle bottom to do the spider web, do the, um, a different method. Now, I'm pretty sure I have silicon in my green. This is grass green. And in my blue which is ultramarine blue um and definitely none in the yellow def i'm not sure about the red the the red is medium yellow from reeves and the red is mixed vermilion with crimson red so there you go because i keep getting asked what colors are you using those are the colors <laughs> What silicon am I using is another question I get a lot. Um, this is Durex Play Perfect Glide. And I thought Durex was going out of it because it started, suddenly disappeared off the shelves at the supermarket and it wasn't available on Amazon. But it's back in both those places. So it's in the condom aisle. It's a personal lubricant which is 100% dimethicone. And the lovely Keely messaged me today to tell me that KY true feel in the blue bottle is also 100% dimethicone so if you don't want durex you can go with ky up to you <laughs> anyway let's party like it's 1919 i'm just going to do a flip cut with this um so let's see how much mess i can make with that ready set go see i told you i'd make a mess <laughs> Does it get any better than that? Zoom me in and show you. Um, so I've got this. Oh, look at those cells. Can you zoom in closer? Look at those. Nice. This could be a good painting, even though it's got yellow in it. Some of you may know, I'm not a fan of yellow. But we may get... A slightly slightly better result out of this one so that would be nice I'm just gonna 
So spread this out just a little. We've got cells without any silicon, so that's a good sign. Oh, sorry, not without silicon, but without um, even torching. Ah, my box is falling apart. Okay, try and get my Lazy Susan back together again. This one comes apart. It's useful at times and annoying at other times. Right, so what I reckon we should be able to do is do streaks. That wasn't very corner to cornerish, Michelle. All right, and then. I reckon we should be able to, um, just going to add a little bit more paint because you know me, I'm really good at not having enough paint and spins is not a good time to do that. So let's see if I can get this to spin. Ready, set, no. The box is in the way but the box is necessary. Arg. One, two, three. Ah, uh, that didn't work either. Hmm. Well, we got the painting covered. We got the I'm not a big fan of it. Got a lump in there. It's got to go. Okay. So, what do I do next, guys? Do I... Oh, I know what. I know what. I know what. Because I'm going to just annoy some of you. Freak some of you out and just be out of control, out of definition, out of form, structure, and significance. <laughs> um, I'm gonna lay. It stopped being a um, spider web, by the way, if you hadn't. Yes, as soon as I start saying, oh, I know what I'm going to do, it tends to mean I've changed my plans. So all I'm doing is laying a piece of string down into the white paint. Let's see if I can get around to here. Yes. And I'm just going to swipe. There, I like that. I'm glad I did that. Happy now. Um, I do... Oops, I pulled in the different opposite direction. <laughs> so that's broken up the white. We've got cells coming through. We've got something interesting happening. Let's see what the torch can contribute. So we already had cells without a torch, which tells me that that torch is basically empty. It's probably the one that Aiden was using.
So for those of you that are new to acrylic pouring, the silicon in the paint that I mentioned, the, the personal lube, is oil. And this paint is acrylic, which is water-based. And so oil rises on water, right? That's standard. Everybody knows that. Um, so just by warming warming the paint a little bit with the with the butane torch that silicon then comes up through those layers of paint and creates these cell looking things as it pushes its way through the layers You get these. Let me zoom in and show you. Okay. So this is where the silicon has risen up. Here I can actually see all the way down to the canvas. But that's okay. I like that. That's different. It's fun. It's different. And I had fun doing it. <laughs> and that, to me, is the important part about art. Art is... There are definitely areas of art that are self-expression and telling a story... And for me, art is about relaxation and joy and creation and yumminess. So that is what this is. It's yumminess. It's play. It's And it embodies that. It's got that movement and the swirling and the bubbliness and the, oh, this is happy. <laughs> And not got much yellow, which makes me even happier. <laughs> there is enough yellow to give it definition, to give it some interest. But there's also all the other stuff. So um, that makes me happy. I'm going to see if I can... Try my third torch. I feel like there's some more in here that haven't come up. You're not trying to burn the paint. You're not trying to cook the paint. You're just warming it enough. And um, for those of you that have had problems making cells, I've actually got a playlist that you can go and check out that's on my... If you click Mickey Art in the thingy below this video, um... It should be on the front page. There should be a playlist of them. Um, if not, just go to the playlists and it'll be in there. And it's called How to Make Cells. <laughs> and I've done all sorts of videos about the thickness of your paint, the types of silicon or oil that you're using, um, the types of torch you use, whether you use a hairdryer or a um, heat gun or a blowtorch or whatever. So there's all sorts of little videos in there that may give you some hints and tips uh yeah anyway let's get you down and show you this up close because it's pretty funky okay so let's go down to this corner first not sure why it's just the closest one i think but it's so pretty it kind of looks like um some sort of fish, like one of those long-nosed, um, has its bill, um, swordfish, that's what I was thinking of. So you've got the, the cells in the background before the white, and then you've got the funky cells that have come up through the white. Look at these, they're all different, they're so pretty. And you got the ones that have been swished into the white, pulled apart, 
with a whirling whirly gig. And get some more and then the uh, uh oh look oh this oh, the blue the blue we found the blue <laughs> uh, and the colours are coming up and taking over the white Wah! oh I do like this this is fun <laughs> oh, that's pretty. That's cool. Oh, right, well, I like it. I like it a lot. I think it's cool. And I'm looking forward to seeing what happens when it dries. Um, so, I'm going to do a countdown. Ready, set, three, two, one. All right, there she blows, all dry, in the sunshine. Um, definitely looks a lot more orange out here in the sunshine than it does in the in the house. But uh, yeah, it's it's just yummy. It's dried basically exactly the same as we left it, just flatter, because <laughs> and less delicate. Because I could touch it now. Um, how's it get any better than this I had fun with this one this is one of those ones that you you look at and you're like I'm not sure if anybody actually would like to have this hanging in their home but I definitely like it how does it get any better than that so guys um, I had fun with it and I hope you enjoyed playing with me and I will be going live at the end of the month so um if you want to come and join me for that then you're more than welcome uh, make sure you've subscribed and hit the notification bell and if you want an email letting you know when that is 24 hours notice then mickeyart.co.nz forward slash sign up how's it getting any better i adore you guys have fun what else is possible and i will see you super soon with another very cool video because I've already painted it. Bye-bye.